Hello and welcome Pixel Pioneers. Today we're delving into Focus, an innovative AI image generation tool. We'll cover everything from the installation to its unique features, including a detailed look at the different presets and how we use them effectively. When it comes to AI-driven art generation, Focus stands out by merging the strength of two popular platforms, Stable Diffusion and Midjourney. Like Stable Diffusion, Focus is offline and open source, which empowers users for complete control over their creative environment. This aspect is crucial for artists who value privacy and autonomy in their workflow, providing a secured space for experimentation and creation without the reliance of cloud services. Simultaneously, Focus embraces the user-friendly prompt focus design of Midjourney. This design philosophy places emphasis on ease of use and accessibility, making AI art generation approachable for artists of all skill levels. So the prompt-driven system of Focus allows for quick generation of complex images with minimal input, reducing the learning curve and detecting the barriers that are often associated with advanced AI tools. Furthermore, focus streamlined approach means that artists can spend less time on the technical adjustments and more time on the creative aspects of their project. So the tool automates many of the intricate processes involved in AI image generation, such as the model selection and the parameter optimization, allowing users to focus solely on their artistic vision. This unique blend of features from both Stable Diffusion and Midjourney results in a seamless and simplified image generation experience. So Focus not only democratizes the AI art generation process, but also pushes the boundary of what can be achieved in this rapidly evolving field. Installing Focus on Windows showcases its simplicity and user-friendliness. Start by downloading the software from the GitHub page. The link can be found in the description. Scroll down to the download section, click here to download Focus, place it in the folder of your choice for easy access and wait for it to be finished. You're downloading now around about 1.8 gigabyte. It might take a while. It's really depending on your internet connection. Once downloaded, head over to the folder Double click or extract the focus zip file. Double click the run batch file to kickstart the software. On its first launch, Focus automatically downloads the default models into the Focus models and checkpoint folder. At the moment, he's downloading Juggernaut XL. The software further eases your experiences by providing a run running batch file and a run realistic batch file. These batch files are designed for generating specific art styles, anim and realistic, and automatically download the respective models to these genres. The straightforward organization and the automated model downloading process really highlight Focus's commitment to a hassle-free user experience, making it an ideal tool for both beginners and seasoned artists. So let's just wait until the model is being downloaded. Now we continue from here. In the world of Focus, the run badge acts as the primary gateway to a fast area of creative possibilities. At the heart of this launcher is the Juggernaut XL V6 model, celebrated for its remarkable versatility and adaptive nature. So this model is skillfully designed to handle any extensive range of artistic styles and themes, seamlessly responding to various prompts. It's particularly beneficial for general use, especially when no specific style is targeted, for creators who are venturing into a diverse artistic territory or still covering out their niche in AI-generated art, Juggernaut XL is the ideal companion offering a broad canvas to experiment and innovate. Now let's navigate the minimalistic yet powerful user interface of Focus. The main screen represents a clean, uncluttered canvas alongside a prompt section. This setup invites you to dive straight into the creative process by entering your imaginative prompts. But before we unleash our creativity, let's explore the additional settings Focus has to offer. In the bottom left corner, you find options to enable an input image and access advanced features. Features. Despite the term advanced, these features are designed with simplicity in mind, ensuring they're accessible and easy to use for everyone. Upon activating
activating the advanced features, you'll notice additional controls that allow for finer customization of your art. These settings, while straightforward, can significantly enhance the output, providing more control over the final result. In the settings tab, let's start with performance. This is allowing you to decide between speed, quality and extreme speed. Next is the aspect ratio. You have a lot of predefined ratios that you can simply activate from different options in a portrait mode to square followed by different landscape ratios. The image number setting plays a crucial role in determining how many images you will generate with each press on the generate button. This feature gives you the flexibility to choose the number of variations you want to create from each single prompt. It's similar to how Dolly offers two choices per prompt or mid-journey, which typically generates four images at a time. So here you can set the amount of images and variations. Negative prompts help the AI to understand what you want to avoid, leading to more accurate and tailored results. Behind random, you find the seed settings. A seed is a value that determines the randomness in the image generation process, that you can either recreate the same image or generate new varied images by changing the seed. With random activated, you will generate new images each and every time. Turning it off and entering a specific seed will create the same image over and over again. In style, you will find many predefined looks that help you keeping your focus on the essence of your prompt. Manga style, graffiti, psychedelic, origami, comic book or renaissance, your choice. In model, as the name suggests, you could change your base models. If you have more checkpoints available via the drop down menu, you could choose another one. Quickly go over to the refiner. Think about the refiner in a way that when an initial AI model generates an image, it might not always be perfect. It could lack sharpness, detail or clarity. A refiner model comes into the game here. It takes the initial image and works on it to make it clearer, more detailed or more visually appealing. The process might involve enhancing textures, sharpening edges, adjusting colors or adding intricate details that were missing in the first version. In summary, a refiner model acts as a second stage in the AI image generation process, taking the preliminary output and refining it to produce higher quality or more refined final images. With today's Stable Diffusion XL models, a refiner is not necessarily required anymore. But everyone might have a different opinion here, choose one or not. LoRa or low rank adaptation is a technique used in AI models like Stable Diffusion. Think of a complex AI model as a big machine. Normally, changing how this machine works requires a lot of effort. LoRa, however, makes a small smart tweak to adjust a few key parameters of the machine. These tweaks are like turning a few crucial dials to improve the machine's performance without rebuilding the whole thing. This makes it easier and faster to adjust the AI model for a specific task, like generating certain types of images. In the advanced tab, let's talk about the sampling sharpness. It's a term that refers to how the AI model interprets and applies the details in a generated image. When you adjust the sampling sharpness, you are essentially telling the AI how much emphasis to put on the finer details of the image. A higher sharpness level generally means that the image will have more defined and clear details, making the textures and edges more pronounced. On the other hand, a lower sharpness level might result in a softer, more blurred image where fine details are less noticeable. The setting is useful for controlling the overall clarity and texture of the image. The guidance scale, sometimes known as the prompt weight, is a parameter that influences how closely the AI model follows the input prompt. It's like giving the AI instructions on how strictly it should adhere to the guidelines you have set in your prompts. A higher guidance scale means the model will try harder to generate an image that closely matches the prompt, potentially sacrificing some creativity for accuracy. A lower guidance scale allows the AI more freedom to interpret the prompt which can lead to more varied and creative outcomes, but with the risk of deviating away from the original prompt. The scale is crucial for balancing creativity and accuracy in the image generation process. Let's get a bit creative. Turn the advanced features off and let us start to prompt. We want to see a girl in the park, skyscrapers in the background, golden hour lighting. It should be realistic, a serene atmosphere and an urban nature. So let's start. 
Have a look at this result. No adjustments, no nothing. First generative outcome. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Let us go to the advanced features, go back to settings and just change it to a portrait mode. Let's have a look at those images. First result. So once more, let's go more to a landscape mode. Let's choose 1344 by 704. Let's have a look at the landscape mode. Again, look at the fine details of the hair. It looks very accurate. Beautiful. Let's head over to the style tab. Let's remove the predefined styles and let's go for some sort of a clay mode. Generate. Let's check the clay mode. Let's create one more style. Let's head over to the search page and look for comic. Let's take the comic book. Generate. Check the quality. It was no work at all for us. All we have done is we created a prompt, we looked at the different styles, and that is the outcome. To show you the features of the input image, we will just create a complete new scene. So we keep it very simple. A girl in a light gray studio background. No advanced features, just standard generate. Let's have a look at the result. Very detailed. Let's enable input image and stick to upscale or variation. If you have created an image before or you now just follow the tutorial, then you would have one or another image. I will take now this image here and I will just drag it down. On the right side, you find the upscale of variations. You have different options. If you're familiar with mid-journey, you are already aware of them. I will just quickly go through so you know what it means. Right now, we have this as our base image. I can now say very subtle, very strong. And that simply means that the image is taken as the input and it will be subtle changed or it will be strongly changed. We are now just going with subtle for the moment on that specific image and hit generate button. So this was the input image and we have now two subtle variants of the original image. It is still the same girl, same hair, slightly different style, different clothes. So now let's have a look at the very strong setting. Still the original image as input. Have a look, still the same girl, but totally different clothes. At the moment, I'm mixing my prompts with the image input. That means if I change now my prompts, it will take a combination out of the original image plus my prompts and it will generate a new image. Let's test this out. We have at the moment a girl, a light gray studio background and this image as an input. And now let's turn this into not a light gray, but a white background. We're not having a white background, but for sure a lighter background as a mix between the darker gray and the white that we have set here. So this is the mixture in between of both of these images. I can also take my prompts away and it will now take the base image as an input. I have no prompt in anymore. We stick to the image here and we're seeing very strong generate. Have a look at the generated images. So it appears that in comparison to the original image, I still have the same kind of pose. I have a similar woman in the image. I have the same color, the same hairstyle. The overall tonality is almost the same, but I have a different background. I can influence the results based on my prompts. I could say, for example, blonde girl generate. I have a lot of variations in these images. A, this is the original image. 
you see that in both of these images, I still have a similar pose, but I have now forced the AI to go more in the direction of my prompt. And in that case, I said, I want to see a girl with blonde hair. And that's exactly what I got. The rest was still up to AI to decide. So just to finish up this section, you also have upscale functionalities. You have upscaler of one and a half times or twice the size. And you have also the possibility for a rather quick upscaler, but with a bit less of a quality. Let's head over to the image prompt. As before, you can now take the image of your desire and drag it into the canvas. I want to take this image here. And in my specific case, I want to combine two images with each other. I want to have the girl and I want to combine it with just another image that I have created before. And I will now drag and drop it in here. So those two images will now be combined with each other. I just keep it at the moment in the standard settings and I will hit generate. Okay, so let's have a look at the images. Now we have a combination of both of our input images. You have the girl, blonde hair, same style. You have incorporated the blue of the sky, the green of the grass and the plants and the flowers. All that somehow has found his way into the overall image. It is not as you would do combining those images in a traditional fashion in Photoshop where you have a bit more control, but you have now taken two images and AI has tried his best to somehow combine that two guys and I think they have done a great job. I could now just hit generate once more and I'm rather certain I get another beautiful result. Let's go with another example. Activate input image again, go to the image prompt and drag and drop an image of your desire over. In that specific case, I have an interest in the overall pose. I will enable advanced and change from image prompt to Pira Kenny and add helps to find the shape, the pose within the image and is bringing this into another image. So let me prompt instead of the woman here, I want to have a young man, blonde hair and, and I want to have skyscrapers in the background. Have a look at the result. I have now a young man with blonde hair with skyscrapers in the background, keeping the pose of the original image, which was a white background with a girl with dark hair. Let's have a look at another example. Let's again activate input image, head over to in paint or out paint. This time we want to out paint the image. And in order to do so, we're just taking an image that we have produced earlier. And we say we want to out paint now left and right to have the entire arms visible on both sides. So we're saying out painting expansion is for the left and on the right side. No other changes need to happen. Hit generate. Have a look at the result. That one looks very realistic. So now imagine that's the image and I don't want to continue with that one. I want to take this one as my base. I just drag and drop it over the original image. And now this is my new base. I don't want to expand the image anymore. I want to in paint. I want to create some sunglasses. I'm just open the pencil here, painting over the areas, entering in my prompt, sunglasses, nothing more and hit generate. And now I have my sunglasses. I think it looks very realistic. For enthusiasts of the anime style art, the run anime bat is specifically tailored to meet their needs. This launcher combines the capabilities of the Blue Pencil XL and the Dream Shaper 8 Refiner. The Blue Pencil XL is specialized in rendering vibrant and stylized anime illustrations, while Dream Shaper 8, known for its proficiency in refining details, enhances the overall clarity and quality of the anime images. This unique synergy, exclusive to Focus, is encapsulated in the Stable Diffusion 1.5 Refiner algorithm. This algorithm excels in translating anime team prompts into visually striking and stylistically accurate representations, capturing the essence of anime art. For users aiming to create photorealistic images, RunRealistic.bat offers the unparalleled experience. The batch file leverages the focus sharpness enhancement feature on the SDXL realistic stop photo model. 
The realistic stock photo model is engineered to produce images with high fidelity to real-world photography, capturing intriguing details and textures that lend a sense of realism to the output. Combined with Focus's sharpness enhancement, this model excels in producing images that are not only realistic, but also crisp and clear, making it a perfect for projects where lifelike quality is paramount. By choosing the appropriate batch file, you can steer the creative direction of your projects. Whether you're experimenting with fantasy, landscapes, modern art, or character design, Focus's intuitive interface and these specialized presets make it easy to bring your visions to life. Each preset's not only changes the style of the output, but also the underlying mechanics of image generation, reflecting the versatility and innovation of Focus. That's our comprehensive guide on Focus. This tool opens up a world of creative possibilities, making AI art accessible and enjoyable. Share your experience and creations with the community and join me next time on Pixel Pioneers for more insights into the world of digital art and technology. If you enjoyed this journey and are excited for more make sure to hit subscribe like and ring the bell so you won't miss out on more awesome content like this your support encourages me keep diving into exciting topics and sharing my discoveries with you until next time keep exploring and learning